Hi, boys and girls. This is Sally Morse. I'm a district math coach for Henrico County Public Schools. Today, we are focusing on the basic fact strategy, doubles and near doubles. Can you think of any examples of doubles that you have seen? I'm going to show you a series of pictures and I want you to figure out how many rocks are in the picture. You may want to hit the pause button after I show an image if you need more time to think or to discuss an idea. Ready? Let's begin. How many rocks? How do you know? There are six rocks. Three white rocks and three black rocks make six rocks. Think three and three more is six, or six equals three plus three. Now how many rocks are there, and how do you know? There are seven rocks, three white rocks, and four black rocks make seven rocks. There's one more black rock than there was in the previous picture. If we know three and three is six, we know three and three and one more makes seven. We can think about taking our four here, the four black rocks, and splitting them into two groups. One has three in it and the other has one. We can add our doubles three plus three, which we need from the previous problem, and easily get six, and then we count on one more to get seven. This is called a near double. Let's try another example. How many rocks? How do you know? There are 10 rocks. Five white rocks and five black rocks make 10 rocks. Remember, we can use a doubling strategy when we add the same amount. Think five and five is 10, or 10 equals 5 plus 5. I want you to keep that fact in your brain as we see our next image. How many rocks? How did you know? There are 11 rocks. We know that five white rocks and five black rocks make 10 rocks, and now there is one more white rock. Think five and five is 10, and one more makes 11. One plus five plus five equals 11. We can think about breaking the six rocks into two groups, one and five. And to add a double, because doubles are easier to add. And then we just need to add on the one more. It's a lot easier to think five and five is 10, plus one more makes 11 than to try and solve six plus five. Let's try some domino images to practice doubling. How many dots? How do you know? We see eight. What is double eight? Double eight is 16. Eight plus eight is 16. What changed in this image? we see one more dot than we did in the previous image. If we know eight and eight is 16, eight plus eight and one more makes 17. Eight plus nine equals 17. Tools that are helpful to use with a doubling strategy include dominoes, rec and recs, and double 10 frames. If I used a total of 16 beads on the wreck and wreck that's above me right now, split between the two rows, there are eight beads in each row. Since eight and eight make 16, 16 minus eight equals eight. What about an example like this? Here we see eight plus six. What is eight plus six? 
we can move one blue counter from the eight to the pile of six red counters. Now we see another dot image. We see double seven. Eight and six is the same as double seven or 14. Will this happen every time? Let's try it with a larger number. What is 24 plus 26? We're going to model this on the number line. If I take 1 from 26 and give it to 24, my quantities are now 25 and 25. 24 plus 26 is the same as double 25. I know that two quarters, which are each worth 25 cents, is a total of 50 cents. So 24 plus 26 is the same as 25 plus 25 or 50. Here's a game that you can play at home to practice your doubles plus one facts. For this game, you're gonna need a deck of playing cards. You're gonna to want to remove the face cards. That means get rid of the jacks, the queens, the kings, and the jokers if you have them. You may also want to have some counters such as coins or shells or cereal to model your doubles plus one. And you'll need to create a game board by skip counting by twos, starting with the number three. So we're gonna say three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and 21. You're going to flip over a card and double it. For example, I flipped over a nine. I'm thinking, what is double nine? Double nine is 18. And then I'm going to add one more. 18 plus one is 19. So nine plus 10 is 19. Keep playing until you've crossed off everything on your game board. Let's try another example. Here I got six. I'm thinking double six. Double six is 12 plus one more is 13. And I'm gonna cross off 13. Another option, you might wanna record the number sentences that you just did. Here I did six plus seven equals 13. Doubling and using near doubles, such as doubles plus one or doubles plus two, are helpful strategies to use when we are adding numbers that are the same amount or, again, are plus one or plus two. Look for the double within the add-ins or the numbers you're adding together and count on one for doubles plus one. And for doubles plus two, find the quantity in between the two numbers and double it, like 15 and 17. If I want to know what 15 plus 17 is, I can find the number in the middle, which is 16, and double that. Have fun practicing playing doubles plus one cover-up as you practice your doubles and near doubles facts. Bye-bye, boys and girls.